Boku no Hero Academia truly has seen a rise to popularity like no other, becoming one of the more prominent anime of recent times. With five episodes of its second season out right now, this all begs the question, how has the second season improved on the first? Hello everyone, this is the RPG Monger, and today after watching the first five episodes of season two of Boku no Hero Academia, I have a lot that I want to address. Now, off the bat, from the first episode of Season 2, there has been quite the upgrade in quality in terms of animation and such. Hell, we even got a snazzy CG break animation, though that's just really a minute detail. Considering how popular the first season has become worldwide, there is no telling how large the fortune they struck originally was, and in turn, the second season for sure has a larger budget, and it shows. So before I go over all of the improvements I noticed, let me give my thoughts on the episode so far. Alright, starting with episode 1 of season 2, not really much to talk about there. It's really just a recap episode, and just the episode to kind of bring you back into the swing of things. Though, something I found particularly funny is that with Boku no Hero Academia, it's been a year since its first season, and it more or less dedicates an entire episode as a recap with not a lot of plot. Though then we have Attack on Titan Season 2. Four years since its first season, and the recap isn't even more than like two minutes or so. I just find that funny personally. Though something I have to praise from Episode 1, for a show that has a hefty amount of tropes, the whole deal with Ochako's motivation being money is really something I did not see coming, and I'm sure a lot of you didn't see it coming either. Like, props to them for not using the same copy-paste backstory we see so much. Though now with episode 2 in the sports event. Like, everyone tells me that the Fire Ice Kid gets better, and I really hope he does because right now, him along with Bakugo are probably my least favorite characters at the moment, just because of how horrendously edgy they are. Though as I've said, in this case, I'll just reserve my judgment. But yeah, besides that, the only other thought I have is I am for sure loving these new characters from the other classes. I just hope they all get fleshed out instead of taking the back seat. No, episode 3 definitely stepped it up with some pretty tense scenes where anything could happen. Overall, another solid episode. Episode 4, however, there is quite the curveball thrown at us, with Tenya not joining up with Izuku. Like, something that I love about this second season is that it is actually using the predictability from the first season to its advantage, to throw us all for a loop. Not to mention, this episode finally gave Shadow Guy a spotlight, which I had been waiting for for the longest time. Oh, and not only him, but a lot of characters we knew near to nothing about previously got at least some focus this episode. So then with the most recent episode, once again, I have to praise the second season for changing things up so much. Like, I know it isn't a new concept, but having the protagonist not win every time is always something a series like this needs to employ to develop wholesome characters. So now that I've covered all the episodes out to date, I must say, off the bat, the character development and overall quality of this anime has improved. Not to mention that this anime is going to last for twice as many episodes as its first season, so it can really only go up from here. Like I'm not gonna lie, like its prior season, the first episode was not the best thing out there, but it really does get better with every episode. Like apparently, and don't quote me on this, this season is going to have one of the best arcs in the series in general, and if that is true, then I am so hyped for that. Though here are my final thoughts. For a series that has so many cliches and tropes, it really does stand out with its likable characters that you can really get attached to, and as they bring more and more in, the show really is getting more interesting by the episode, and I look forward to seeing how everything pans out in the end. If you enjoyed this type of video and want to see more like it, do subscribe, and today's cool thing of the day is the new Gorillaz album, Humans. Like for me, someone who really doesn't get into bands, Gorillaz really are the best, and their new album for sure lives up to the legacy that they've set for themselves, and I suggest you all give it a listen. Though that being said, I'm the RPG Monger, and don't forget that each and every one of you are fantastic.